everybody. We're, um, oh, I'm by myself. I've just parked at the airport, it's like three o'clock in the morning. Um, I'm going down to check out this GWM Tank 500 down with um, GWM, they've given me an invite to go down. Um, big day. But anyway, I'm walking over, I'm gonna get on a plane and fly down to Melbourne where it's gonna be freezing. I had to bring a jumper. I've got pants on. Uh, it's gonna be a bit of a change. But anyway, um, I, I think I'm just gonna randomly zap to Melbourne and get into a uh, car that's gonna transfer me to some hotel. But anyway, I'll show you this. I just got a mad pat down because of this crystal. This crystal set off all the sensors apparently. And then all my still be to the side and was like grabbing on my chest and stuff. He got quite aroused. So did I. GWM has booked me a drive our rather, right? Look at this. We're pimping. I'm not used to this, mate. Yeah. I'm used to, I'm, I'm just I'm just a bogan. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> now that's cool. Thank you so much, mate. Thank yeah, you. No problem. There we go, let's get there. I'm relaxing back here in the back of the 7 Series, big dog. Um, I'm running really late, so I think I've missed like the whole start where they all talk about what we're going to be doing and talk about the car a bit, so I apologise that you guys won't get to see any of that. Um, but I haven't missed out on the driving. We're, we're getting there. Uh, I'm walking around in this fancy ass hotel, you know, very fancy, that's what I do. Um, I assume that I only visit fancy hotels, I never stay at them. Where, um, you were talking a lot about the Tank 500, but I missed the whole presentation. So all I got to do is sign the form to say that you guys can all take my photos. Um, anyway, we're gonna go and do a group photo in front of the cars now. People getting interviewed, this is crazy. Look, I'm gonna get, I'll get pretty shy on that camera. I'm only confident on my camera. I have to tell them to use mine. Um, we've just been allocated cars. So this is Alex. <laughs> oh, I'm Jordan, in case you forgot. Here's the first look, guys. Laptop. There's a laptop in the dashboard. <laughs> oh, we got some snakes in case we get tired. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, hello. Hey guys, I'll just check your navigation there. What yeah. did you say about four-wheel driving before? How we just got to take it easy and let the car do what it's got to do? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, look, it's not really challenging. I'm, a, I'm, just... a, I'm only having a crap. Oh, okay. I just liked your chat. I was like, all right, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll go easy. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I'm driving, I got Alex recording for me, good bloke, and he's figured out how to turn the lane keep assist off because it was annoying the hell out of me. Um, first thing I noticed is the blinkers and the wipers, they've changed them back. So now your blinkers on your right hand side like every other car in Australia almost. So that's, took a second to get used to that again. Um, blinkers are a bit funny to turn off. But so far, the car's driving real nicely, nice and comfortable. Um, mad big sounds, um, What's this thing called, bro? Infotainment system. Entertainment system. Yeah, it's good here. And and because I missed out on the whole, um, look, we're gonna we're gonna pass somebody, but you can't record them because they're in another vehicle that's not allowed to be on camera yet. Very, very spicy. Should I be overtaking people? You reckon? As long as we're doing the speed limit, we're all good. Yeah. And that's what we're doing, right? Yep. Yeah. Um, I missed out on the whole sit down and learn about the vehicle and all that stuff so um alex is going to help me how much is how much is the cars mate so the lux or base model for this one is about 64 yeah and then the ultra is about 75. and this is the ultra yep this is the mad dog so this is advanced technology compared to compared to the cannons i'm not going to lie like putting the speedo out in front of you on on the, on the road so like you can see how fast you're going down the road so you don't have to look down at all this crap um but no so far it's, the car's driving beautiful it is very very nice i'll show you like a full walkthrough of the interior later um and when we do some off-roading i'm going to try to get as much of that on camera as i can just to show you all that alex will have to do a lot of the forward driving then <laughs> yep. i'm running around trying to record it <laughs> i just want to do a bit of acceleration from 70 flat foot up to 110 we're flying that's got plenty of power it's not nice and powerful. I want to keep going, but I don't want to kill Alex. <laughs> <laughs> and I, don't, I probably don't want to get any speeding fines for GWM either. I'll just tell him Alex is driving. <laughs> Definitely wouldn't be a very good look. It's on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, so. Is this one? This one's a bit different, is it? Yeah, that's actually All righto. Oh, so this is. What do you call this one? This is the Lux, yeah. that 
still looks extremely fancy. We don't yeah. have a few things in there. That's not hard. And then the Ultra. That's a make believe car. Has got magic step. Very fancy. I couldn't figure out how to turn the blinker off. <laughs> right, how do you actually supposed to turn the blinker off? Do you guys knew that already? It does cancel when you straighten the wheel up, but if you don't have enough lock on yeah. to actually cancel it, you just go tap it with your finger. Tap it, yeah. In the right, I'm done. All right, I open the snakes because I'm the passenger now. <laughs> also got snakes and music bars, so I'm going to sit here and eat now. Alex is going to have a drive. He promised me he's going to do a good burnout for everybody. All right. All right, so Alex here usually drives the Havel H6. Big difference, mate? Yeah. Big difference? Definitely big difference. A lot smoother. Even the take-off, so much smoother. Get in the, uh, get in the traction control work in there as well. Yep. Get, get, a, yeah. get him some speed up on this gravel track. Yeah. Get, get some drifting going. <laughs> no. Having some fun. Yeah, we're, we're just taking it easy. Yeah. After 300 meters, <laughs> turn right, blue gum track. I think everyone's doing about the same speed. The old mate in front of us is flying. He's so, definitely doing like the speed limit, which is 80. <laughs> it's 80. Now <laughs> the speed limit's 80, that's what you got to do. But uh, we're going right. We're getting up pretty high here in the mountain where we're going, but. Turn right. Oh, there's, there was a little forward driving track up there. It looks heaps better than this. I don't know if we're going there east. I don't know if we're going any forward driving or if we're just going Hello. on the dirt road. It would be heaps better if we do a bit of forward driving. Anyway, so far so good. We haven't broken it yet. Nope. I still hate lane keep assist so much. <laughs> so much. My opinion, Alex thinks it's the best. Depending on what it's set to, yes. Yeah. Yeah, he wants it set. If you keep it on uh, lane centering, it's better, Beautiful, it's better. It's just set to keep you inside the lane so it swerves you back in when you hit the line. So. Oh, the swer swerviness is ideal. Yeah. Look at this, driving through a clay arch. Massive, massive sunroof, full, full length of the big dog. Um, our four-wheel drive, and I was just speaking to the guys in front of us, they're the guys that host the drive events. So they don't work for GWM, but they work for a company that does all the, um, I don't organize everything where to drive. Um, this is about it. This is about as extreme as the four-wheel drive is gonna get. How'd you like that, man? That's pretty extreme. A couple of little bumps. They said that they did another thing I believe yesterday on another drive day they did all the hard tracks um so we missed that unfortunately so we didn't get a full test so the guides in front of us i think they've stopped because they were watching to make sure we didn't go through this there's a, a tiny ruddy section the road will get all right let, let's you know I mean? let, let's let's give it a crack let's give it a let's give it a flat out on the dirt road ready let's go forward let's go Now we're talking. There you go. <laughs> You're speeding. <laughs> now nah, this is a back road. Somebody owns this, so it's not illegal. All right, we gave it a crack. I don't know if the guy behind me loved that too much. Anyway, there you go. That's what 100 kilometers an hour looks Sorry, like on the dirt I road. I had to one up Alex. I, I swear he was doing a thousand kilometers an hour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the lane keeper sister's back on. We'll have to go back to the switch that back <laughs> Why is it trying to lane keep assist on dirt? Anyway, that you know that's not my favourite picture, everyone knows that already. <laughs> um, so far so good, the car is heaps comfortable. We're in Melbourne and I'm cold. So Alex put my heater seat on, now my ass is actually hot, so I'm gonna turn that back off. <laughs> Thank you for that. I'm that's nice alright. You're very considerate. You can talk to the car, which is normal on the GWM X, but I don't have that, I've got the Polvo model. Hello GWM. Close the sunroof. <laughs> no, it didn't work. <laughs> Hello GWM. Close the sunroof. Oh no. It's thought I said lows. Hello GWM. 
close the sunroof. Always the sunroof. All right, Alex, you have to have a turn because it doesn't. Did you press that? No. The sunroof kind of sticky. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, GWM. Put down driver side window. GWM Eject Alex out the door Eject Alex No, it's not working right Text Alex, oh shit no, I gotta text someone on your phone uh, We are just pulling into a spot called Cleveland Estate Not sure what this is, is it like it's a winery? It's a winery, yep Oh shit, you will have to drive back <laughs> So the reverse camera, which is this massive, massive screen here, makes the cars invisible now. In in the Canon, you, you get, what do we get? A brown car, I think. Yeah. Every, oh, listen to the roof. Oh, you're scratching the roof. Alex is scratching the roof. That's close enough. GWM, open the sunroof. <laughs> that doesn't work. <laughs> Play, prove your soul. Well, now you've just ruined the whole roof. Look how far that opens. Yeah. So we parked right underneath this Christmas tree. Don't forget your mobile phone. Don't forget your phone, mate. I did not. I got it. <laughs> Look at this cute little lunch they're taking us on. Thank you. Check this out. Go down to the dungeon. Cute, guys. <laughs> oh, this is very intimate, isn't it? It is, man. Candle there and everything, yeah? Handle it. Yeah, I just um, I just had an interview with old mate. It was pretty fun. I might have been a bit awkward in that, to be honest. Um, but we'll see how we go. But old mate over here, he's having an interview. Then you've got the GWMs in the background over there. It's all, it's all very professional compared to my uh, my little GoPro. That looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. You know what happened here? See my GoPro cover? Yeah. A monkey bit it. Monkey bit it. Yeah. I am in a different vehicle now. Remember the view we can't talk too much about? <laughs> um, and we're heading back to the hotel, so we've got a bit of a drive. We're just testing this vehicle out now. So I've done a lot of testing on the um, Tank 500. I will um, do a big walk around. Hopefully, hopefully the car will be in the sun, but I'll do like a really good walk around of the car and then I do a, like a big inside as well. So you're just gonna have a, have a good look over it. Anyway, cheerios. We're out here trying to get the perfect footage but we're struggling because the other guys are so far behind because Alex drives so bloody far. <laughs> um, anyway, we sort of just got the drone display in here. Hopefully we get a cool shot for you and I'll put it right here. super super tired so the thing with the tank 500 kept on telling me that you know I needed to take a break because I kept yawning while I was driving so you need to take a break you need to take a break focus on the road you need to take a break so I don't know what that means but I'm pretty sure it wants me to stop driving now but anyway we're um we're finished up for the day thanks so much for watching this um I don't know bit of a review on the tank 500 I hope it helps somebody um and I hope that you, you get some good information from it all right cheers guys I didn't even touch base on like the models. So there's the Lux and the Ultra. The Lux is like your entry level, but like crazy amount of features base model, but like not kind of thing. Um, the Ultra is just like whew, Ultra up there, you know? The Ultra had that big ass sunroof. Um, I think the Ultra's got like the cooling in the seats. They press a button and your, your ass says a fan. Whew. 
cools your bum. I think that's a pretty cool feature because of how hot it's been traveling in Australia. Now the Lux and the Ultra both come with rear diff lock, but the Ultra comes with front diff lock as well, uh, which is pretty cool feature to have. Um, both the Lux and the Ultra are both hybrid engines. So that was like, it's crazy to be bringing out, you know, um, like a hybrid four-wheel drive that can tow three ton. Like that's, that's, I don't know, that's pretty cool. Um, it was super full of power. When you see me do that bit halfway through the movie, wherever it is, where I'd go zero to 100 on the dirt, that was to 100. Uh, I didn't time it or anything like that. I didn't really have the time. There was a lot of people around um, trying to do a bit of filming and get a bit of information and stuff um, and obviously test the cars. So it was a little bit hard to get everything that I wanted to show you is on there, uh, but I think I've done pretty well. Both models are seven seaters. Um, both models come with the seven years warranty, unlimited kilometers, just like the Canon. Also, these models are coming out with seven years capped price servicing. My first impression of the Tank 500 when I looked at it, obviously I got to that hotel, I looked at it and I'm like, that's like presidential. That looks like a president's car with that big chrome grill and all that just sitting over there. There was three of them in a row. And I was looking over there like, damn, like it looks like, like that's the upper class car right there. <laughs> The suspension in that thing was so nice and soft compared to um, like the Canon. The Canon's a ute, leaf springs, a bit rigid, but that thing just was like floating. I'm going down the dirt track, we were flying. Alex was flying on the dirt track. It was just nice, nice and smooth. There's that little camera that looks in your face that um, when you start blinking too much, it tells you to take a break or if you yawn, or if you look across to the GPS like that and look back, it's like, pay attention to the road. I was like, Pfft. Like, I know I'm doing man, but professional. All the electronics that I was using, so you got that big screen in the middle, then you got another um, screen in front of you. All those screens, everything's touch screen and whatever, all works really, really perfectly. Um, I couldn't like fault any of that at all. Um, I thought it was really cool that you could put the GPS and the speedo down on the road in front of you, so you can actually go on a little screen somehow. It makes it look like it's out in front of you, so you never have to look down. I thought that was a really cool feature. I know that's probably been around for a long time, but it's something new to me, um, and actually driving with that feature, I thought that was sick. I can't wait to see whoever gets one of these first, and then throws a caravan on the back and tows with the hybrid, and just, I don't know, does some reviews on how that actually goes. I'd love to do that, but I don't have one. But it would have been really cool to tow with it. Um, I was really disappointed about uh, missing out on the four-wheel driving and giving it a proper test as well. I really, really wanted, like when I was flying down, I was like, I'm going to four-wheel drive the hell out of this thing. It's going to be mad. I wanted to get it up on three wheels and like get some mad footage of it. But because there was a lot of people there that never have four-wheel driven before, they didn't, they weren't too keen to take, take us all out doing that. Um, you had the guys like the day before, like I said, they did the more professional tracks the day before. Um, I think they were more like your proper car reviewers and stuff. Um, I'm sort of just old mate running around Australia with a Canon and people watch my channel, you know, that's that's who I am. Um, but it, yeah, it'd be super cool to actually test one fully. So like, yeah, GWM just like pass me one of those and I'll go and test it properly, you know, properly give it the right, the right Aussie test. Um, anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope this, all this information helps. Any questions, hit me with it. I've probably missed a thousand things. All right, let's finish this video because that's enough, right? I'm just talking and going on and on and on, telling you features that you can just find out anywhere, right? So you've seen me drive it, you're happy days. Now the Lux comes in at 66 and a half thousand and the Ultra comes in at 74,000, okay? So there's, there's your prices at the moment. That's what's sort of advertised on their website. Um, I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure that includes on roads or something. But anyway, don't take my word for it. Ask your dealer. Suss that out. Go test drive on yourself. They're bloody amazing. Anyway, happy Easter, everybody. See ya. Mm -hmm.